Hello again, YouTube. Right, okay. I actually got round to slinging a leg over the uh, Planet X Pro Carbon Evo today. And um, not out on the road, I hasten to add. Uh, and apologies for this, you know, the road test has taken a little bit longer to put together. I've been stupid busy and it's been killing me because this thing's been sitting in my turbo room and I just haven't had a chance to ride it. But I really wanted to put that right um, and definitely wanted to start getting some thoughts out there on YouTube about what this thing is like. So today, I thought, right, I'm going to do setup because I'm riding it probably tomorrow morning early uh, with a friend. So I thought I'll do the setup today. Now, there seems to have been quite a bit of interest about sizing. And, um, you know, I think there was one comment in the, um, the kind of box unbox and build video where somebody said, you know, I'd be really interested to see what you look like on it. So I thought, well, OK, why don't I do this road test in two parts, really? I'll do like the initial setup. So bike in a turbo, me on the bike. OK, first time I've spun a pedal on it, what I think of it, what it feels like frame frame wise, what have you. Uh, and then I'll do a proper on road road test, which I'll do tomorrow. So this is the first part of that. This is me sort of just slinging a leg over the bike, getting the size and the fit correct um, and just first impressions of it. I thought it would be better to do this bit on the turbo because you'll probably get a better view of actually what I look like on the bike than if I give my one of my mates a GoPro and say yeah you know follow me and and take some video or sling a GoPro down by the side of the road where you just get me sort of fly past well fly past I say fly past uh, in my head it's flying but uh, anyway so that's an aside so yeah basically what I've done is I've done a setup on the bike now I'm 186 centimetres, about 100 kilos, uh, give or take, and um, you can use that hopefully as a, a guide. I bought a size XL frame. I'm one of those odd sizes. When I look at bike sizes, I'm very often at the top of a large frame and the bottom of an XL frame. And that's kind of how it was with this bike. When I looked at the two sizes, I thought, well, you know, I'm gonna be pretty much at the top of the adjustment on a large and pretty much at the bottom of the adjustment on an XL. So in that case, um, my personal preference, which might not be right, um, a bike fitter, professional bike fitter might have a different view on this, but my personal preference is to get the bigger frame um, because then, you're not maxed out on adjustment. You know, if you get the smaller frame and you find out you could just do with another couple of centimeters on the seat tube or something like that, if you're at the end of your adjustment, you're all out of luck. Whereas on the larger frame, you know, I'm, I'm inside the specs for the larger frame, so there will be some adjustment there. And you can always do things like, I'll give you an example, straight out of the box, look to this bike, it's got a really long stem on it, like I think it's 120 mil stem. So, you know, if your reach is a bit too far, you can adjust that. I'm gonna put a different saddle on it. I'll explain the reasons for that in this short video that follows. So anyway, yeah, this is gonna be just me slinging the leg over it on the turbo, what it feels like frame-wise, what it feels like size-wise, what I might want to change about it before I actually ride it on the road. And uh, I hope this is useful. As I say, there'll be a follow-up part to this coming, which is me riding it on the road. And I've not forgotten about all of the guys that sub sub subscribed because I started messing around with mountain bikes. I do owe you that video on taking the tire off of the uh, Boss Nut, and that is definitely coming. Again, just haven't had a chance to ride the mountain bike or a need to ride the mountain bike just for the last couple of weeks um, but I'm absolutely conscious that needs to be put together and um, we've got some better weather coming in the UK we've got some some longer evenings so I shall be out in the shed getting that tire off and making it tubeless but for now just enjoy me on the turbo okay so um out of the box, I've just put the uh, seat up to roughly where I think the sheet, seat should be in relation to my other bikes. must admit that the, um, the seat actually feels a bit too far back for me. And um, unfortunately, it's as far forward on the rails as it will go for this particular seat. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to do something about that. Also, <laughs> Jesus... Uh, I did say I was going to do the, the first road test with the 
factory fit saddle? Unlikely. This is, uh, <laughs> Jesus, I've only been on this thing, what, a couple of minutes. And already, that's not good. So that's, some of that could be because I've got a bit soft and got used to my uh, Adamo, which looks after you quite a lot. But um, yeah, so should really be doing this with a plumb line. But just to judge where the saddle is in relation to the uh, cranks. So the old golden rule I was always taught is that with your cranks level, you should be able to draw a line down from the front of your knee through the spindle. It's not, it's not miles off, but it really needs to be there. So there isn't the adjustment in this saddle to do that. So that's going to be the first change. It does feel um, a very long laid out frame. I've been riding a Trek Damani up until now and that's, uh, that's very much a comfort geometry uh, compared to this. You know, this thing is meant to be a little bit racier by design and you can tell it's got that sort of very flat top tube, none of that compact geometry stuff going on. So um, it does feel a very long frame. Now, how this would feel on a large, not really sure, because uh, obviously the, the top tube's gonna be shorter, so that would affect, obviously where the saddle is, might affect that adjustment there. But uh, I think there's two things I'm gonna do before I ride this on the road properly. One, I'm going to put that Adamo saddle on because this really is uncomfortable, actually. You know, I'm a big lad. Come on. But, um, yeah, it ain't good. So that's going to be the first change. I'm also thinking about possibly a shorter stem. But I think if I can get some adjustment in that saddle, I probably shouldn't need the shorter stem. So, uh, other than that, seat height, yeah, it's about right for me. Uh, yeah, feels good. And, um, yeah, just generally feels good. Love these new 105 hoods. They're really, they're a lot longer than the old 105. So they feel really comfortable. I might also consider a double wrapper bar tape on this because uh, these bars aren't very thick and I've got big old hands and uh, I just like like to get hold of something so that might be the other change I'll make but um, no I mean out of the box it it does feel a more focused geometry than I've been riding I was expecting that and it's not unwelcome I mean definitely down on the drops you can feel that as well. Um, how that translates into sort of three hours on it, we'll find out tomorrow.